Tears of the Kingdom takes place years after Breath of the Wild, at the end of the Zelda timeline. Link and Zelda explore a cavern beneath Hyrule Castle, from which gloom, a poisonous substance, has been seeping out and causing people to fall ill. There, they find a mural depicting the founding of Hyrule and a subsequent conflict known as the Imprisoning War, an ancient battle against a being referred to as the Demon King, and decide to venture deeper, triggering the awakening of a mummy. Link's right arm is badly wounded by the mummy, the Master Sword is shattered, and Hyrule Castle is raised into the sky. Zelda falls below, and as Link tries to catch her, she vanishes with a mysterious artifact. Link is rescued by a disembodied arm which had been restraining the mummy, and he awakens on the Great Sky Island to find that it has replaced his damaged arm. He meets the spirit of Raru, a Zonai, and the source of Link's new arm. Raru assists Link as he traverses the Great Sky Island, and when the latter reaches his destination, the shattered Master Sword vanishes and Link dives to the surface below. There, he learns that the event in the cavern, known as the Upheaval, has wrought chaos upon Hyrule, and sets out to investigate reports of strange phenomena throughout the kingdom. Link ventures into ancient Zonai temples alongside his allies Sidon, the prince and eventual king of the Zora, Tulan, a young Rito archer and the son of Tiba, a past ally of Link's, Unobo, a Goron and the president of Unobo Co., a mining company, and Riju, the chief of the Gerudo. With the defeat of the monsters occupying the temples, Link finds strange artifacts containing the spirits of sages from ancient times, who each appoint his allies as their successors and grant them artifacts, secret stones, which they once wielded. After numerous sightings of Zelda, Link seemingly locates her at Hyrule Castle, but she reveals herself to instead be an imposter serving the Demon King, Ganondorf, the mummy that Link previously encountered. Link and his allies defeat the imposter, and he sets out to find the last of the ancient sages, Minoru who remains in the physical world via spiritual projection. Link helps create a mechanical body for her spirit to inhabit. Through insight from Minoru, the other ancient sages, and items called Dragon's Tears scattered throughout Hyrule, Link learns of Zelda's fate. The artifact that vanished with Zelda was a secret stone, which transported her into the distant past. There, she met Raru, Hyrule's first king, and Sonya, Hyrule's first queen. After Ganondorf killed Sonya and used her secret stone to become the Demon King, Raru appointed Minoru, Zelda, and the leaders of the Zora, Rito, Gorons, and Gerudo as sages. With their help, Raru battled with the Demon King and sacrificed himself to seal Ganondorf away. Later, Zelda received the Broken Master Sword from the future and tasked the sages with aiding Link when Ganondorf reawakens. In order to repair the Master Sword, she swallowed her secret stone and underwent a process known as Draconification, becoming the immortal Light Dragon. In the present, after ridding the Great Deku Tree from gloom in Korok Forest, Link retrieves the Master Sword from the Light Dragon and confronts Ganondorf below Hyrule Castle. With the aid of Sidorn, Tulan, Unobo, Riju, and Minoru, Link battles an army of monsters before engaging in combat with Ganondorf himself. Nearing defeat, Ganondorf swallows his secret stone and becomes the Demon Dragon, taking Link into the skies above Hyrule. With the assistance of the Light Dragon, Link uses the Master Sword to shatter the Demon Dragon's secret stone, killing it. The spirits of Raru and Sonya help Link turn the Light Dragon back into Zelda and restore his original right arm. Raru and Sonya fade away, and Link and Zelda fall to the surface below. Some time later, on the Great Sky Island, Minoru bids goodbye to Zelda and Link before fading away, while the sages vow to protect Hyrule.